Damn. In the footage, the robber appears to leave the property only after the TV credits start rolling, seemingly indulging in a casual session of TV time. The fate of the thief, that nigga really nicknamed TV. Creeper Ghost, remains unknown, and local detectives are investigating the case. He over there just chilling back and watching TV. Like, damn, I ain't seen this episode. Let me watch it real quick. <laughs> Seem like my life been really changing on me. I know some niggas out here hating on me. Hey, I see the bitches how they changing on me. I know some niggas out here snaking on me. Hey, see like my all right, all right, all right. So here's the damn deal, man. Yesterday we just had my anniversary, my two year anniversary. And don't forget that I got another anniversary coming in four days. We're going to have another party like I did last night. I drank a bottle of goddamn uh, champagne. I drank two bottles of liquor and a bunch of shooters, man. I got fucked up. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm late doing reactions today because I do wake up a little, you know, a little hangoverish, which I don't ever really get hangover. Just a little sick. You know what I'm saying? I guess people will call that a hangover. But anyways, I'm back. But look, today's going to be a different day, man. We're going to react to different stuff today. So I'm not going to do no music today. I just want to react to... Some different stuff, you know what I'm saying? This one's going to be the seven, seven creepiest things caught on security cameras. You know, I've been watching some of that shit earlier this morning when I was laying up in the bed, like a little whatever, P-U-Y, <laughs> P-U-S-S-Y, you know what I'm saying? Laying in the bed all sick, watching some of this shit. I was like, you know what, I ought to react to some of this stuff because I watch it all the time. So look, let's go ahead and get into it. But before we do that, I need all the subscribers I can get off this damn video. You know what I'm saying? I need everybody to subscribe. And also, too, appreciate Adam Calhoun for... uh. Damn it, subscribe to my channel, man. Shit, clap that one more time for me. Appreciate that, my boy. You know what I'm saying? And shout out to everybody who was on my live last night. Shout out to Stormy Lee. She caught on my live. Shout out to Mises and his wife. They was on my live last night. I'm getting famous, goddamn it. Okay? I'm almost famous, goddamn it. But let's go ahead and get to the seven creepiest thing. See if I get creeped out. Action. Let's see what happens. Hope it's not scary, guys. <laughs> Fact faction. Seven creepiest things caught on security cameras. Man, your voice is creepy. <laughs> In this video, Fact Faction takes a look at seven that? CCTV feeds. We feature some of the creepiest occurrences ever recorded on oh, camera, I think I seen that one. including the paranormal and plenty of horrified humans. I ain't seen none of that. What the fuck is that? For poltergeist activity. Oh hell Unwelcome no! Welcome guests and the alleged ghost of a small boy. Oh, hell no. Uh-uh. Black people don't do shit like this, man. God damn. You see how fast they took that damn child? The Hernandez home. I'm not going In to August nobody's last name. This Hernandez. While Brianna Hernandez and her husband were dining on an evening meal, the latter of the pair spotted something spooky meandering across their property's security cameras. Hmm? First unnoticed by Brianna, her keen-eyed husband saw a floating figure. Hmm? When interviewed, Brianna told reporters, quote, as soon as I saw it, my hair stood up. I've oh, never seen, seen anything like that before. Yeah, I didn't even show nothing. What her husband oh, had okay. spotted seemed to be a human form the fuck drifting is that? across the family driveway close to the couple's cars. Speaking to reporters, Brianna stated, You can see the movement of either arms or legs At going the with the body as it goes by. You, you can, Judging though. from the footage, her description is pretty accurate. I don't look like no goddamn According person. To the testament of the couple, just before the pair moved into Boy, the that's home, some creepy shit. they had spoken to a man who was familiar with the property. Uh, this bet you man somebody told died. the twosome that his uncle had passed away while living in a mm -mm -mm. nearby property. The couple believe that it may be this same man who they saw on CCTV. How do they know that's his uncle? Black uncle, I can In tell by that's your walk, my the boy. The shape <laughs> seems to be skipping playfully across the screen with its blazing bright white shape. Although some viewers no have skipping. shown staunch skepticism, the footage does look pretty creepy. It does, Since though. speaking to local reporters, the couple have remained quiet on any future developments. <laughs> and the identity <laughs> of like, the man, original hell white no. figure We got too much flack off this. I ain't saying a goddamn thing. Number six. The Reddit stalker up. Oh, I'm not getting on Reddit. <laughs> In August 2016, I ain't getting on Reddit. Reddit user named Fat and Depressed Fat and posted depressed. on the social media site to report that he had seen something sinister lurking outside of his home. What was it? The Fat user depressed? had been utilizing a home security system named Vivint, okay. which remotely connects smartphones to home CCTV cameras okay. in order to tell users that someone is visiting their property. Over the course of three days, Fat and Depressed reported having received eight notifications of a person standing outside their home. Watch that say Fat Each notification and occurred between <laughs> 10 p.m. and 5 a.m., setting the incidents right in the dead of the night. I wonder what it was. On the first seven occasions, 
fat and depressed, checked the live feed for activity, but was unable to see anything. The user therefore assumed the problem to be a stray dog, or at worst, a prankster. On the eighth occasion, fat and depressed, discovered something particularly petrifying, what and was the user it, fat took depressed? to Reddit to report his discovery. In the picture accompanying the post he shared, the, fuck is the visiting vision is shown in all its gruesome glory. The frightening the figure's face is, is set in a grin with heavily darkened eyes. Huh. According to Fat and Depressed, this is the visitor who'd been lurking at his door. When? Having checked the timestamps for the four visits on this night, the user noticed something pretty strange. What happened? The uninvited guest had visited three times between 12.07 a.m. and 12.52 a.m., before then disappearing and re-emerging three hours later. Okay. Though the user has yet to receive another visit from his unwelcome guest, that's guests, not really. I mean, that's the case creepy because that's somebody in charge of your house, but and the mystery man's he looked creepy too. But I mean, you know, I thought it was gonna be like something moving. You know what I mean? Like something like a ghost or something. I wasn't scared or creeped out. The Chicago creep up. Oh, I ain't going to Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> in July 2016, she Chicago woman Jordan Baranskas noticed that her purse had gone missing. What happened to her? Her boyfriend, Jack Makercher, assumed Makercher. that she'd left it in a local restaurant, leading the pair into a minor argument. In an attempt to find it, the pair retraced their steps they argued for and perused it? the security camera Bitch, footage to work out to... where they'd managed to misplace it. <laughs> That's you. Rewinding to 3.30 a.m. on a Monday morning, they found something which cleared of them the blame That's a nigga in that terrified house. them both. The freaky footage showed a hooded intruder standing at the top of their staircase, watching over their home as the couple slept on the living room couch. Damn. The couple owned two dogs, who were softly sleeping at their feet. The Damn. undeterred intruder moved so quietly that even the dogs were inexplicably unalarmed. Damn. The footage shows the man standing still on the stairs, while an episode ah, of Mr. Creepy. Robot plays on TV. Just have somebody just standing the there watching. Footage, Baranskas told reporters, he stood there for about five minutes the first time, then walked away, then came back and hovered over us again for another five minutes. The man is suspected to have carried out other neighborhood Hell burglaries no. in the area. He tripping. Other residents have posted images of the same man riding he a tripping. bicycle because get searching shot coming for properties to rob. The I'll creeped out you. couple told reporters that they typically lock scary, all of their bro. doors before heading to bed. On this occasion, they'd accidentally fallen asleep in front of the TV, leaving their property atypically unsecure. Damn. In the footage, the robber appears to leave the property only after the TV credits start rolling, seemingly indulging in a casual session of TV time. The fate of the thief, that nigga really nicknamed TV. Creeper Ghost, remains unknown, and local detectives are investigating the case. He over there just chilling back and watching TV. Like, damn, I ain't seen this episode. Let me watch it real quick. <laughs> the Creeper Van. I ain't getting no vans. Nope. Not doing it. In October 2017, mother of three, Rochelle Haig, posted CCTV footage on social media in order to alert other parents to a strange man in her neighborhood. Hell no. Nah. The woman from the UK city of Manchester was sitting Beautiful at kids. home while her three children played on their garden trampoline. Okay. At around 2 p.m., a mysterious man in a white van stopped in front of their home, allegedly offering donuts to lure the Hell children nah. into his vehicle. In the footage, the eldest child, eight-year-old Sadie, is seen taking her six-year-old and two-year-old siblings inside the home. Hell uh, yeah. Hell uh, yeah, she's smart. Good job, little girl. Good when their mother came out to job. confront the driver, he quickly sped away in order to avoid being caught. When speaking to reporters, good goddamn Hyde job. said, it was absolutely scary to watch, yeah, but yeah, I'm but so good proud job, of my Sadie for acting for fast in this You footage. saved your little girl and your little claimed, sisters. She also when I approached this man, he acted weird and asked me if my kids wanted some donuts, Hell then no. drove off. The incident is still under investigation, no. and the culprit is yet to be Creepy. found. Creepy. Hell no. Little girl, you smart than the mother. Good job, little girl, for real. Let me clap on that Good job. That nigga need to be shot. Joe Cumming CCTV. I'm never going to talk to anybody named video Joe Cummings. On YouTube <laughs> in 2009, a man named Joe Cummings shared CCTV footage captured in his kitchen. 
What happened? Joe set up cameras as he'd noticed food going missing from his home. In an attempt to solve the mystery, he tactically set up surveillance cameras around his Manhattan I home know what this and was be. alarmed by what he found. The unusual video shows a woman entering the man's kitchen via a small door close to the ceiling. Damn, for real? Damn, she is. I can see her at the top up there. You see her? She tripping. How the hell did she get through like that? Oh, hell no. She must have done this before. The odd intruder gradually clambers down onto the floor by moving fixtures and fittings. She climbs down in an odd and eerie fashion. Uh, uh, uh. The hell? The fuck? Oh, she's smart, though. Oh, she's smart. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, she's smart. Y'all better watch out. We got intruders in the house. Bitch, what you got, The gallon? weird woman then urinates in Joe's sink before opening his fridge Ugh. and taking a big gulp from a carton. Ugh, he probably done drank after and everything. She continues to steal and eat food while seemingly watching TV. Hell Halfway nah. through the footage, the woman abruptly she scurries sat down across the screen as Joe, woken from his sleep, wanders into the kitchen to take some food for himself. Oh, hell no. Nah. He don't even know. He don't even know. He don't even know. Ain't that a bitch? Upon his departure, the mystery woman emerges back into the frame to help herself to more morsels and meals. This bitch, uh, he ain't even know. And she's still... <laughs> she's still eating and drinking some shit. She, she then leaves the kitchen via the same route she entered, climbing upon the table before making her eventual exit. Man, she's smart though. She's done that plenty of times before. And she knows exactly how to get in this man's house. In footage captured the following morning, Joe can be seen swigging from the same carton as his brash burglar. Ugh. According to the uploader, the woman was homeless and had been living secretly in his apartment for at least a couple of weeks, Damn. residing in the cramped quarters from which she crawled out of. Damn. Once Cummings viewed the CCTV footage, he contacted police and the woman was arrested. Damn. In March 2018, you ain't even know, Joe bro. Cummings left an update on his video claiming mm -mm -mm. that he has additional lost footage of the woman, which he'll be releasing soon. Oh, I want to see that. A link to his channel is in the description. Appreciate that. Hell no, nah, Joe. You got mm-mm, but you ain't even know what she had in her mouth. Antique cent uh, century, century? Haunting? I ain't gonna know antique, antique store. A antique store in Barnsley, South Yorkshire, has allegedly been experiencing phantom phenomena since 2014. I ain't gonna know antique stores either. The owner of the store has reportedly witnessed over 50 unexplainable events Damn. since taking charge of the business. I would have sold the that incidents, <laughs> which occur both by night and during the day, okay. have included a bunch of hair-raising happenings and hauntings. Hair raising, In one let me incident, see. a rocking horse was recorded moving of its own accord oh, shit, before falling is. off a store shelf. That motherfucker is rocking. Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. <laughs> nope. The owner has attempted to recreate the motion himself, but has had no success. Hell no. Other incidents have included framed photographs moving of their own volition and a cabinet seemingly okay. exploding. Damn. Books, figurines, and skateboards have also been spotted moving unaided. In Damn. another incident, the 11 year old daughter of the owner entered the basement before running out screaming in a state of panic. Damn, that's crazy. In an interview, the owner told reporters they do say that the mill owner who worked on the old mill in the 1800s died here. He hanged himself in the 1960s, mm -mm -mm. apparently. Hell no. Just five steps away huh? from where we that are. That kid said, right We now. gotta go. 
<laughs> Some speculate that the haunted happening Come on, brother. may be the result of a poltergeist or dead children. Paranormal investigators tasked Hell with exploring no. the ongoings oh. concluded differently. Run. They believe that the ghost of an unidentified homeless man has orchestrated the eerie events. Allegedly, this man, oh, when alive, shit. would routinely wander into the graveyard upon which the shop was built. Hell However, no. the actual identity nope. of this alleged man remains unknown, as does the origin of the horrifying Dang. happenings. Nope. Can't do it. I got to get out that stove. I got to get... <laughs> I can't do it. Number one. Adam Ellis, dear David. Nope. I ain't messing nobody named Ellis. I mean, Adam R. David. New York nope. illustrator Adam Ellis has been regularly updating his Twitter since August 2017 to report upon terrifying events occurring in his apartment. What happened, Adam? Allegedly haunted by a ghost nice he first Adam. seen in his dreams. He reportedly receives visits from the ghost of a young the cat boy looks scary. with a misshapen head. Damn, for real? What makes this case most curious of all is that it currently the is hell? ongoing. Trying to kill me. The first time he saw the boy in a dream, Ellis had reportedly been suffering from sleep paralysis. Hell no. He saw the child sitting in the rocking chair at the foot Hell of his bed. Hell no. Mm -mm. The child's head reportedly had a large dent on one side. Mm -mm. He then reported that the boy stood up and shambled towards him. Mm -mm. Just as he was about to reach Ellis's bed, I can't he awoke do it. screaming. Nope. Ellis shared the vision Ugh. he'd seen by drawing a picture of the alleged apparition and Damn. posting it online. In a later dream, Ellis encountered a girl in a library Hell who no. asked him, You've seen Dear David, haven't you? The hell? The girl told Ellis that Dear David appears at midnight in the form of a small boy. Damn. According to this girl, David allows dreamers to ask two questions. The hell? If they ask a third, he kills them. The hell? Ellis's dreams continued in various forms before seemingly crossing over into reality. Hell no. The dreams stopped for a while before Ellis moved into a new apartment. Mm -mm. His cats then began exhibiting bizarre behavior, gathering at the front door at midnight for four consecutive nights. Damn. During this period, they would stare at the door as if something was on the other side. Damn. On one Hannah. of these evenings, Ellis looked through the peephole and saw something move. His cats continued to demonstrate the same odd behavior. Hell no. Ellis then took a photograph through the peephole. This photograph showed a shape lurking on the stairs outside of his apartment. What'd you see? In order to investigate further, Ellis used a sleeping app to see if he could pick up on any suspicious sounds. This app works Kinda by see detecting but I don't noises know. made during the night. What he found was vague, but included static electric I see noises, but I don't see along something. with strange <laughs> snapping sounds. On another occasion, Ellis awoke as his whole house was shaking. Hell his fear no. growing greater, Ellis bought a motion sensor camera mm -mm. for while he was away from his apartment. This camera caught footage of his cats behaving strangely, as if watching invisible beings move and meander through the apartment. Hell no. Hell no. Oh shit. Hell no. One of the videos showed a cat perched upon its hind legs and peering around the room. Hell no. Hell no. That cat no. Ooh, watch out. Hell no. Mm-mm. I'm scared on that one. <laughs> Some other footage recorded a household decoration slipping and dropping from its place on the wall. Oh shit, hell no. Ellis's dreams mm -hmm. began to reoccur and become more disturbing. Nope. In one dream, David clamored toward Ellis before coming face to face. Oh, the face chair moving too? Hell In no. In the dream, Ellis snapped some photographs. When awake, he then checked his camera and found what appeared to be images of David with his half dented head. Oh, what the fuck? Hell no. Nope. Nope. That's why I'm glad I don't drink. Ellis then took further creepy photographs, Damn. which clearly showed David sitting upright in the apartment. 
These images also Damn. show him staring at the ceiling and standing over Ellis as he slept. Hell no. The final picture of this sequence is an extreme close-up of David, showing only his hair and the top of his head. Damn. Ellis continues to update his Twitter with current ongoings. Most recently, Hell no, he discovered dude. small footprints in the snow outside of his apartment. Ellis recently had another dream in early January 2018 you need to get out of David I don't know what crashing do, down honestly. from the ceiling onto his chest. A photograph taken by Ellis shows David falling from the ceiling. The hell? As of January 2018, <laughs> the updates continue. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Dear David, and please And there don't. you have it. These were the creepiest hell security nah. camera videos I can't we do could it. find. Appreciate Which footage that. do you think was the most bizarre? The last one. Thanks for watching. Appreciate Please you. Please remember to leave a rating and subscribe if you haven't already. I got you. What the hell is going on with David? Hell no. Nah. Dude, you can't even move because if you move, bro, you're still in your dreams, dog. Like, I want to know what happened. I don't even got Twitter like that. But I want to go find this dude and make sure he all right because, boy... That last one was the scariest one, man. Especially with the, ooh, with the head. <sighs> I ain't even gonna be able to drink. You know what I'm saying? I mean, to sleep tonight, because, mm mm, I'm gonna think David gonna come. And I already, god damn, you know it's crazy. I already think there's a ghost in this fucking house, anyways, bro. In this apartment, I mean, I already think there's a goddamn ghost. So I need to probably put cameras up when I'm asleep. You know what I mean? And see if I catch anything, because this, mm mm mm. Mm mm. The music played loud twice, and there wasn't nothing on in my house. You know what I'm saying? My chair was, I was spun in my chair a little bit and I kept spinning. Hell no. Nah. Mm -mm. Nope. I can't do it. Look, I'm already scared, guys. I gotta go. <laughs> I gotta go get to another video, see if I can make it through another one, man. I love y'all. But shout out. <laughs>